Hello everyone, it's Morgan Livingstone, the Certified Child Life Specialist at Michael Guerin Hospital, and I'm here to read you a really cool Todd Parr book, one of our favorite writers. It's Okay to Make Mistakes by Todd Parr. And right on the front it says, uh-oh, and there's a picture of Todd wearing underpants on his head and his dog wearing socks on his ears. Looks like this is gonna be a fun book. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay if you spill your milk, you can always clean it up. In the first picture, there's a, a funny drawing of a girl sitting at a table where she spilled her milk and it went all the way across the table and onto the floor and her and her dog are both looking very surprised. In the next picture, you can see that they're smiling and she's got a cloth in her hands as she's cleaning up the table, but on the floor area, her dog is cleaning it up with a cloth and the kitty cat is licking up the milk. I think the cats like milk. It's okay to try a different direction. You might discover something new. In the first picture we see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fish all swimming together. Eight of them are swimming in one direction, but the ninth one is going in another direction and it says, uh-oh. On the other side, deep under the sea, you can see that that spotted fish has found some treasure. So going in a different direction actually was helpful for him and he found some treasure. It's okay to not know the answer. Asking questions helps you learn. I think in school this happens a lot. In this first picture, we can see that the teacher is pointing to a eight plus three equation equals, and the puppy dog at the bottom in his desk says, uh-oh, with question marks above his head. But the next page shows him and a friend, his kitty cat friend, putting their hands up and asking questions. If you're not sure, always ask a question. It's okay to get upset. Your friends are there to cheer you on. In the first one, it looks like there's a goalie in front of a soccer net, and it looks like a ball has gone way above. And in this one, well, first her face is very red, so that often means that you're very angry. I think she was trying to kick the ball into the net, but it didn't go in. In the next one, it looks like she's in front of that goal post again, and this time there's a dog with her wagging his tail, and she's smiling and trying to kick the ball again. Sometimes it's good to try more than once. It's okay to fall down. You can always get back up. I see in this picture, there's a very interesting pink horse with rainbow colored spots and a little girl who seems to have fallen off her horse. Uh-oh, it's a good thing she's wearing her helmet to protect her head. In this one, she gets back on and she has a smile on her face. It's okay to have accidents and it's okay to try again. It's okay to wear two different socks. Others may try it too. In this first picture, we can see the puppy from the front of the book who's wearing two funny socks that don't match on his ears. In the other page, we see all of his animal friends, a duck, a sheep, and a skunk, all wearing brightly colored socks that are all different. Sounds like a fun idea. It's okay to forget your umbrella. You might meet someone new. Uh-oh, in this case, a funny duck is standing in a puddle with the rain falling on his head. In the next picture, it looks like a purple duck has come to join him and has offered to share his umbrella. That's a nice thing to do when you meet someone new. It's okay to change your mind. Everyone is ready at a different time. And this is really something I know I've felt before. There's an elephant who's gone all the way up a high ladder on a diving board and he's looking down at the pool and he's changed his mind. He's too nervous to finish his dive. So he gets down. In the next picture, it looks like the seal is having a great time and is ready to take the plunge and jump off the diving board while the elephant waits on the ground safely and comfortably having his ice cream. Everybody learns at a different pace. It's okay to get mixed up. Uh-oh, you can always ask for help. I can see that in this picture, there's a boy who's going uh-oh and his tangly shoelaces tell me he's had a hard time learning to tie them. But in the next picture, he's asked for some help from a parent or an adult and him and his puppy are smiling as he, get, he learns how to tie his shoes. It's okay if you are clumsy. Uh-oh, you might invent a new move. There's a whole bunch of penguins all lined up to go down a cool slide into the cool water. In this case, all of the other penguins are going facing upright, but one of them flips around and he goes down head first but he's actually invented a new move and his friends in the next picture all decide to try going down headfirst too. 
I think that penguins like going down head first. It's okay to get dirty. A bubble bath is lots of fun. Oh my goodness. I can see in this picture all around this house is a lot of rain and a little boy and his puppy are running around in the mud. Uh oh, I think they got a little muddy, but that's okay because in the next picture, he's in a nice warm bubble bath and someone's helping him to clean off all the mud. He's got a big smile on his face. It's okay to be shy. Being quiet can make you a good listener. In this picture, we see one, two, three, four colorful dogs, all howling and singing at the top of a fence. But down below on the ground, uh-oh, is a cat who's a little bit shy and has decided not to participate. But the next picture, we can see that the kitty cat is actually a great listener and he's helping snuggle up to a little friend in the night. It's a good thing to be a good listener too. It's okay to color outside the lines. It's good to follow your own path. In this picture, we see a lovely person who's created some amazing art. And it looks like the art is a roadway with a car and a dog driving the car. But the roadway actually goes off the canvas or the paper and all the way around onto the other page. And it looks like it's created a little dog house. And the dog house says auto. Everyone has uh-oh moments. That's how you learn. In this picture, there's a tree with one, two, three, four, five, six monkeys all attached to another tree, hanging on and, and hanging and having fun. But one of the monkeys is upside down and he says, uh-oh, while the rest are all smiling and right side up. It's okay to have those uh-oh moments. That's how you learn. And that is the end. It's okay to make mistakes sometimes. Everyone does, even grown-ups. That's how we learn. Love, Todd. The end. I hope you enjoyed our Child Life Storytime. Come again soon and I'll read more.